I, the wizard, I have returned. The beard, it is obviously the beard of a wizard. It's so long it won't even fit in the lens. I have my sword with me tonight. And, um, you, well, you can't, obviously you can't see what's in here, but, um, there's three instructional zombie posters. And tonight we're going to talk about, this is Zombie Hunting 101. We're going to be talking about zombies and fire. And zombies and swords. Since I obviously live in the Middle Ages, um, we have swords, not guns, eh? So, um, here we go. Zombies and fire. What can I say about zombies and fire? First of all, it depends on how long the living dead have been dead. Or how long the dead have been walking. Whatever. Um, if they're still freshly deceased, uh, they'll still have quite a bit of moisture in them. And they're not going to burn that easily unless maybe they have a bunch of, of uh, chemicals in them that the mortuary put in. But it's not necessarily a good idea to burn a zombie. Yes, they do burn, especially the ones that have been dead longer. You know, the bones dry out, the skin dries out. But, um, see, if you burn a zombie, it doesn't kill them right away. They'll, they don't feel pain. So they're just going to keep moving. And, you know, when the zombie apocalypse happened a few years ago, and, um, you know, I mean, now the earth has, has, has returned to um, a relatively uh, stable uh, population of humans, of living humans, Roughly 7% of the human popu living human population of what it used to be. But it's been pretty steady. Of course, in the, in the springtime, when the, the thaw comes, uh, you know, people kind of uh, get um, complacent. And uh, we lose a few uh, living humans, uh, usually in the spring. But... Um, Anyway, it still stays at about 7%, uh, but we're not get, getting any control of the walking dead. But um, if a zombie has been dead for quite a while, there's nothing wrong with, with throwing a Molotov cocktail or, or uh, a flamethrower. Uh, the thing is, you want to make sure it's a great distance away from anything else that's flammable. Now, if you're in a place like Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, those are not necessarily good places to burn a zombie because it tends to be a very dry place. Even when it rains, it, it tends to soak only the, the outer layer of the dry material and the inner material is still dry and it will still catch fire but um, so you want to be very careful about that uh, now if you're in an area let's say you have a brick wall or a stone wall around where you're at and it's not possible for the fire to jump so to speak uh, then it might be okay I mean it's, it's tell you what it's fun it's very enjoyable to watch zombies burning I'm it, it, admit that. Now, I personally prefer the, the close-up, you know, hands-on zombie killing. But remember, you want to kill the brain, and since the zombies will burn from the bottom up, it'll take a while before the brain burns, and it won't be instantaneous, even once the head starts to burn or the flames start to get up there. It won't kill the brain really fast. It'll take a little while. And remember, they feel no pain. So, flames are of, uh, you know, fire is of little use. It's going to take a while to burn them. Um, so, I, my, my suggestion is just generally not to use fire on a zombie. Uh, the, the best thing you can do is you take your, your sword. And what you want to do is 
You want to get them right here. This part, this part of the head right here. Or right here, if you see, right here. Because it's the frontal por portion of the brain that uh, is infected and is uh, sort of alive. Yes, I've grown quite um, good at the, at the sword. Um, I also sometimes will use uh, a knife, a, a Gurkha knife, uh, for example. Uh, they have heft. The only problem with that is you have to get so close in that, um, you know, when you're going in, they can still grab you, they can bite you, they can claw at you, and you don't want any fluid or, or body material getting under your fingernails, getting in your mouth, eyes, ears, nose, and other places because you will probably become infected. Um, now as a wizard you would think I could just perform great feats of magic and you know they would poof, poof but no it doesn't work that way. I, I can uh, come up with flames and you know things but that's really just for show. We, we wizards really don't know any magic. We just do things to, to impress people and then people think we have powers. So, you know, except that time I made that dragon come alive. That wasn't good. I don't think they've killed it yet. And you killed the bald dog. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to say on Zombie Hunting 101 for tonight. Thank you, and have a good night, and watch out for those zombies.